In this video, we are going to integrate Facebook login for Flutter into our app. The first thing to do is to look for Flutter Facebook login package in the pub.dev for Flutter. And this is the one that is mostly used. But recently, Apple announced that the App Store will no longer accept new apps using UI web view and also inside the package github users are mentioning that because the plugin uses UI web view so this one is going to be deprecated so we cannot use this plugin for now but we can do some workaround to make it work so for start we are going to do some preparations first we are going to developers.facebook.com you go to my apps after you sign in and you create a new app and i'm going to select for everything else and a name and then we assign a business account if you don't have it you can open a business account after the app is created you go to setting and you go to basic in this page you have to save your app id and app secret we are going to use these two values later and then i go to dashboard and i add facebook login that is here and it appears on the left side i go to settings and in this page you have to set the settings as appears here and you add the URI as follows facebook.com slash connect slash login success dot html and then you turn on this option login from devices and then we save changes next we go to firebase and I go to the authentication I go to sign in method and here I open the Facebook section and I enable this and i put app id and app secret for you for my facebook app and then i save inside android studio first we have to go to pubspec.yaml and add packages we need to have firebase off and we need to have flutter web view plugin i have also added flutter auth buttons to create facebook login button for our app and i click pop git i just open the emulator and i have this application next we go to main.dart and here after the google sign in button i add facebook button for this we are going to import flutter auth buttons from the new package and then I use Facebook sign in button which is inside that package to create this button for the Facebook and then I'm going to specify unpressed inside unpressed we are directing user to a web view and inside that the user enters the username and password so before going through this unpressed let's talk about log in with facebook i create another file by right clicking on lib new file i name it login with facebook.dart inside this i have this code i'm going to share it with you you can use the exact code but here you have to replace this client id with the app id that you got from facebook developer account and then here the user is directed to the custom web view it's a browser that opens when the user clicks the continue with facebook button and then the user enters username and password and after that if it is successful and the result is not empty we are going to extract the access token after we extract the access 
token we pass it to user user here i have defined user as firebase user get the token access token from facebook and we pass it to the firebase using this user account and then we can access details of user user dot user dot you can have display name you can have email and you can also have phone number and photo url update email and lots of data you can get from facebook and then i'm going to print the user display name and after this when the result is set we are going back and we say when completed when we get the user data and user is logged in i'm going to navigate the user to the second screen inside my app also inside the login with facebook.dart we use custom web view as i mentioned and for this one we have to create another file inside this we are going to specify when the browser comes up for user to enter the username and password and after user enters the username and password facebook returns a url here inside the url we are going to split that url and take the access token part the url has multiple parts so we are interested in access token we get the access token and we save it and then the result is passed to the login with facebook and is saved into result so let's try this continue with facebook i have already signed in into my facebook account before so it recognizes me otherwise it asked me for username and password and in this case it tells me that your name and profile picture and email address will be shared with this app so when you name your app in the developer.facebook.com that name will appear here along with the picture of your app and then i continue and i go to the second screen and inside the run i can see that the user is the user display name and this one is the access token that we received from facebook and passed to firebase so let's go back to the firebase and we go to users i can see that a user is logged in using the provider which is facebook and the date and the user id is saved so anytime the user logs into your application using facebook it recognizes the user and logs in the user to the second screen in your app that was it for this video if there is any changes about the plugin and if they fix the plugin for facebook login i'm going to update you in the comment section if you have any question please ask and please subscribe thank you for watching i will see you in the next video